Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So recently I did a video on how to make salsa and one of the ingredients in there is the culantro herb. And many people uh, did not know what these are and was wondering how they can get some. So uh, I figure if you live in places where these are not available, you can actually grow your own. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. First, before we go into the growing process, let me show you what the culantro look like. So these are culantro leaves. Um, they have little sharp edges in the corner, but uh, you can, they're, they're, they're not very rough at all. So, so they, it won't cut you. When they get older, they, these do get a little tougher, but uh, you harvest them before then. But anyway, this is what they look like here. And uh, if you visit uh, or if you live by any Asian grocery store or Asian supermarket, uh, very likely you will find some of this because uh, they're very popular. Uh, the seeds uh, for those are very, very tiny. It is hard, it's crazy to imagine that such a, a big plant can come out of these little seeds. But uh, today we're going to grow these inside. So I'm going to show you how to start some seeds. I like to use um, rockwood cubes uh, because they're easy to handle. I will list all of these, uh, the information for this and where to find them in the description. So make sure to check there. We're going to start two plants because that's, that's all I need. So what we're going to do first is add water to the cubes and, and allow them to soak as much water as they can hold. And this is just water right straight out of my faucet. So nothing special. Okay, so once the cube is full of water, you can just pour the water out. So what we're going to do now is create some pockets in here. The pockets are already there, but we want to make it larger so we can fit the seeds in. And uh, we're going to do a side one here just to put a few more. That way we can add a few more seeds just in case. Uh, th there's just so many seeds, so it's fine to waste a few. Now we're going to grab the seeds and you want to add about two to three seeds uh, in each of those holes and you can thin them out later so don't worry about if you put more than that. That's a lot more than a few seeds but that's fine we just thin them out once we're done. Okay, so once the seeds have been added through the pocket, you just just close it up. Okay, uh, make sure to pour that water out. And then the seeds needs to be nice and warm in order for them to sprout. So you can put a lid on top like that and then place it away in a, in a warm place so that uh, they can sprout quickly. And what I normally do is I'll put up under my lights and ju that's just how I sprout most of my seeds. So let me show you where I'll put it. Okay, that's where they're going to sit under my arrow garden. So we will be back once uh, these sprout it and I'll show you what to do next. All right, guys, it has been three weeks now and my culantro have sprouted to this size. Uh, these plant took unusually long to get larger and I think uh, a large part of that is because these are tropical plants and they love uh, more heat and I have been keeping these guys at around you know 65 to 68 so uh, it took a while for them to sprout so if you're going to do this at your house um, just increase the temperature make it around 70 to 75 and these will, will sprout much faster today I have the the plants right here uh, they're not too big and I see roots right there coming out to the bottom. So what we're going to do here is put this into my hydroponic system. And I found this bottle and it is basically a Starbucks coffee, um, iced coffee. And I thought, I thought this would be a great uh, container to use because it has some sort of cover. I'm going to cover it more. And then it has this line here that would allow me to monitor uh, my water level without having to do much. So uh, this is a, a great container for me to use. 
So what we're going to do first is we're going to mix our nutrients and here is just a gallon of water and I'm not going to do anything special to this. This is just straight out of my faucet and I'm going to put some nutrients in here and what I'm going to use is the Dino Grow series. I'm sorry about the, the line. That's just the light off of my uh, arrow garden and I'm recording this in the evening. So um, that's, that's why there's that line there. But this is what I'm going to use, 79.5. So I'm just going to shake this up and add 5 milliliter to this, which is one of this. And you can get this at CVS or a Walgreens or whatever. So it's one tables, sorry, one teaspoon. Okay, so that's what I added. So we're going to shake this up. Just close it real quick and then give it a good shake okay that is it so we're going to prepare our container in the meantime and what I'm going to do is saw this out because I'm going to put this into a one inch net cup actually this is probably an inch and a half this is a small I think if you search for one and a half inch this is what it's going to be so we're going to use the whole saw here and this is a 51 millimeter and that would make a, a perfect hole for our net cup to fit into okay so we're gonna saw this out uh, I usually do it in the reverse because it gives you the a smoothest cut and it's easy to work with so do it slowly and then just gently trying to force this out okay there you go and if you do it too fast, it may crack the container, so just do it real slow. As you can see, our net cup fits right on top, so that's, that's all we have to do. So let's go ahead and clean out the stuff that is in there, and then uh, we'll fill this up with, with nutrients, and then we'll put our plants in. All right, I finished cleaning up my container, and then I used some blue tape to just patch these up. It's a pretty quick and... Uh, <laughs> messy but uh, it'll do um, I want to keep the container uh, sort of like dark so that lights cannot get through and uh, cause algae to grow in there and I may use this containers uh, to do other things in the future so that's why I tape it like that so there's a little spot there you can sort of like cut and see where the water level is but um, that should be good enough now what we're going to do next is we're going to fill this up with our nutrients and we want to make sure that the bottom of the net cup reaches the water level. So we'll pour this in. Okay, that touches the bottom of my net cup there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put our plant in. So, okay there it goes all right now we need to get some pebbles to cover the rock wool area just to prevent algae from growing all right here are my pebbles I have them all nice and clean so let's go ahead and put them in there okay that is it so people always ask what these pebbles are so I'm gonna repeat it it is to prevent algae from growing on top of the rock wall. So that, that's all it's doing. All right, so now let's, let's put this into the resting spot where it's going to go. And I'll place it under my arrow garden over here. So I'll move these out of the way. And put that right there. Okay, so that's where it's going to sit the entire time. And I will come back once they make some progress and I will update you guys. All right, guys, it has been two weeks uh, since we transplanted the culantro into my setup here. So the total time has been five weeks. This time of the year is just not going to do well because they are heat loving herbs. So they, they like to be out in the heat of the summer. 
So right now it's pretty chilly. It's it's December now, so um, the temperature is really not ideal for these guys. And this is all it's grown in the total of five weeks. So um, it, it's just too slow for me. So I, I'm not gonna do this again. But uh, here it is. There's the root system there. It's still it's growing much longer, and the nutrients has dropped to. Let me see. Really not that much. So there's a lot of nutrients still left. And so let me put this back. But uh, here it is, the culantro started from seeds, uh, five weeks total to get to uh, this much growth. So um, there you have it guys, culantro grown inside hydroponic, uh, cracking method, non-circulation. If you guys have no way of getting these herbs, then it may be a good idea to grow those uh, inside. Uh, trying to keep the temperature warm. You can do it in soil. You can do it in hydroponic. Uh, but uh, as long as the temperature is warmer, like in the 75 to 85, those are the best temperature to grow this. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Um, it's not as I expected because it's it's much slower, but uh, overall it's fun to, to do because there's really no, no maintenance to this. I just transplanted into this unit and left it under my light i haven't even uh, touched it or refill or anything like that so uh that's it guys thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe